Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your story of the Cinder the Mad. Hi, Lord of the Flesses, Harbage of Spiffing, Little Tank, Two Boxes, Madman, Cutest Fuck in 2013. And Dora, a neutral guy. Now, I don't know where the store leads and I'm kinda curious. On the other hand, I kind of expect a route that goes into the lower sections of the city. Of the ship, even. A bunch of city there. Ooh! So the primary entrance initially goes there. If the stairwell is an alternative entrance. Uh, hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, could I ask you about River City's history? I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Uh, do the men on the ship give you much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. So, you and Diego are in love? Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Uh, unfortunately, you can't force a man's attentions. Especially if he is a priest with a thick skull. Well, I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. So, what's the story of Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. Uh, why is James Hargrave such a brat? James's mom, Tammy, is a real bitch. She treats him like crap. I think it's because she drinks too much. Thank you. Bye. I still need to find the Wilkes. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Nope. Hey. Hmm. Wait. This is all free looting? I don't mind if I do. Sounds pretty spiffy to me. Oh, this is actually close enough. Close to something. Only something there. Here we go. Drugs in the filing cabinets because that's where drugs belong. Staley store. Did I already. Did I pick this and. In. Oh, Polly. Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks, man. I really need this fix. I'm trying to find out the uh, roots of this history. Can I help? Huh? History? What history? There's no history here, man. Okay, bye. Yeah, me too. A door. Oh, this is this place. Hi. Saint Monica bless you. You too. There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate guard said the gun. Can tell us that? But this is places that I have previously looted, isn't it? Me too. Nothing's getting uh, Good to see you. Yeah, right. God bless you. Hi, Diego. Uh, Diego, uh, do you know that uh, that one girl is kind of God bless you, you and keep you safe. I hear Angela Staley has a crush on you. What are you talking about? I'm a man of the cloth. Well, I will be as soon as Father Clifford. Never mind. It doesn't matter what Angela thinks. Soon I will take vows of chastity. Okay, I was just curious about it. I forgive you. More importantly, God forgives you. God doesn't give a fuck. Goodbye, Diego. God bless you. All right, let's carry on. Where can I go? To find what I need to find. That's why I'm glad I'm in. Who might be related to Wilkes? Do any of you sciencey people know Wilkes? 
Evening. Dr. Preston. What else do you want from me? You don't look hurt. Uh. Did you know that Paulie can tell he's an addict? He's totally strung out. It's going to kill him one of these days. Uh, I need to find a microdermal 25 for epidermal augmentation surgery. I heard a rumor that old Pinkerton at Rivet City somehow conjured up a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. Hmm. You know of someone named Pinkerton? Pinkerton, eh? That name takes me way back. Claimed to have cured radiation poisoning. Or was it food poisoning? I don't recall. He was always telling folks that he founded Rivet City. All he did was break off the front of it. Or did he die there? I don't recall. Oh, that's good information. Take care of yourself. How do I get to those parts of the ship? Uh, hi, Gaza. Good to see you. You don't have anything of interest here? Hey there. Hi. None of those seem anything like anything useful. Just people. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. Hargrave, yes. Diego. Good to see you. Security. Did I misremember? Those. He did tell me about family, didn't he? Church services are held every Sunday morning. I hope to see you there. I don't know when Sunday is. It's going to Thursday. Okay. Now I know when Sunday is. It's in a few days. Don't think I can be bothered to wait that long. Maybe on the upper deck? Let's look. They doubt that the entrance to anywhere is in here anyway. This doesn't matter, this doesn't matter. Ooh. This does matter. Um, what else can we find? Black and shrapnel store. Yes? Gaza. Hello. Security. Wait. Is that girl again? I don't know if I've talked to her. She looks relevant. Oh, that's Janice. That's secure for a reason. I uh, what? Did you say that? Doesn't seem very secure if I can pick its lock. Yeah. Well, I'm sure she'll just crown some from the lower deck. Vera, I know I'm not a sophisticated man. Vera? Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Uh so are there any fun rumors flying around here today? You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. <laughs> uh, Vera, your nephew Brian lost his folks and needs a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy. But most importantly, safe. Okay, I'll send him along shortly. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. And but I am a man. And also welcome back, sir. Uh What do you know about the Rivet City's history? Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. But I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. But is there anyone who knows more? Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. He's been here since he was just a boy, and I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Yeah, I got his information. Bye. Farewell. So I basically I need to find Pinkerton. Pinkerton is the important person. 
he has both information on Android, which is actually, you know, absolutely irrelevant to me. You see the sister in there. Don't mind me, security man. No, the sister is not in here. But there is a footlocker. Hmm. Just as ammo and stuff there. Still no information about sister himself. I kinda want to taunt sister and see if I can get in a firefight. Wait. Why is this door locked? What's the time? So they locked the entire market at night? That's interesting. Hi, bye. Yes. Huh. Oh, hello. You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Well, I just want to help, okay? Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help his kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? Uh, what would you have me do? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Thank you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll save a man's life. What's this movement you mentioned? We call ourselves The Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Anything else I should know? Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. What's this planning to? Uh, what about human slaves? Don't you try to help them too? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Cool. Uh, okay, I have to go now. You know what you need to do. I need to get the thingy to simmer. Where did you come from, even? I didn't see you before. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Red City's history? Was there something else? No, you don't tell me about the Red City's history. You know what you need to do. But I need to know about the Red City's history. It's important. Uh, Science Lab Marketplace, the Red Hotel, Red City Clinic. Science! It's for the sick. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Uh, I don't know. I'm on duty. Make it quick. I'm tracking down a guy named Pinkerton. Do you know where I can find him? Don't you believe the rumors? His ghost is certainly not haunting the bow of this ship. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Very. How can I access the bow of the ship? Whatever. What part is the bow? Is it the rear or the front? Or... I'm not very good at ship parts. Simmer. I have a piece of crap for you. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? Hmm. Take this. What? Let me see that. This is a neuro servo, unique to the A321. I. 
And you say you got this from his corpse? I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, damn it! I was afraid this would happen. Out here in this... this... wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. I'll let you know I have like 100 points, the 95 points in science and plenty of points in medicine and a lot of points in repair. So I would believe this character is well enough educated so you can go and shove a hunting rifle up your ass, pull the trigger and call it a happy afternoon. Now where's the Matt's person? You're in a low life, but if you keep your nose clean we'll let you stay. Matt's? Hey. Hello, Flack. Here at Vats. Ah, Mats. You did a good thing delivering that component to Zimmer, telling him the android was dead. For that, I'm going to entrust you with some information. The android's transformation was done by a man named Pinkerton, here in Rivet City. He's hidden down in the broken fore section of the ship. You'll need to swim to reach him, but if you're inclined, Pinkerton can perform a facial reconstruction on you as well. It won't disguise your identity, but you'll be able to experience life in a new skin and truly understand that we're all human on the inside. That's cool. Okay. So basically I need to go and have a swim. Yes. And I hope I remember that next time. Or, uh, how do I get to the ship? Ship man, how do I get to the ship? Oh, wait. You go down. Time to call it a day. Rivet City. Save. Uh, hey, let's wait in the morning, shall we? Morning enough. Okay. Moving Hello. on. Uh. Oh, shit. Okay, we're still alive. There is nothing eating us. That part of the ship, I guess, is where I'm going. Huh. This is rather radioactive, I should not have done this. Could I have simply walked and used this bridge? Most probably, but I'm not sure if this would have led me to Binkerton. Ah, get up there. Anyway. I'll get to the door so I will <laughs> certainly remember next time what the hell I was doing. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Next time on Fallout 3. So you must be Ulrich. A trap.